Hey guys, it's Diane with Real 3 High Priestess. This is a reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Let's jump in with each other. And let's see what's going on for September 2019. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign, Capricorn. Spirit and Angel guys are the most high. Please give me the cards for my Capricorns. Who or what is coming towards my Capricorns here in September? Singles and couples. Give me the cards for Capricorn. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, don't give up. You have the Eight of Pentacles here in reverse. Okay. You ha you have the Judgment card here in reverse. You have the Wheel of Fortune here. Okay. Good. Good. You have that Wheel of Fortune there, okay? You have the Eight of Swords here and the Hierophant card. Okay, be careful of the company you keep and the advice that you take as well. That's what I'm feeling here, okay? This came up. I've tried to do, I've tried to do your reading already, Capricorn. It feels really, uh, the energy feels crazy and it's some Taurus uh, it feels like a Taurus that is here. But this Taurus doesn't give you... A, mm, it feels like they don't give you good direction or good advice. Or... It's a sense that they play with your mind as well. With this Eight of Swords here. Okay? Okay. Why is this Eight of Swords here for my Capricorns? What is going on? This person is a player. <laughs> they are just, okay, you got the Knight of Wands here, okay? I feel like they give mixed messages to you as well. This could be an Aquarius or a Taurus that I'm seeing here, okay? Ugh. Um... They give mixed messages. And I feel like they're very... They're not consistent. That's what I'm feeling here. In and out of your life. And only telling you what they want you to know. It almost feels like... They're purposely trying to keep you from knowing the truth about something. Let's let's go in just a little bit deeper. All right. Let's take out the Sabila cards. I'm going to take a look at this. Uh, could be a Scorpio or Sagittarius here as well. Okay. Mm. What's going on with this person for my Capricorns? Here, a widow. A widow. Oh, man. Yes. Okay. Weakness. Look at these swords coming out. Okay. It's going to be a conflict of the mind. And I feel like they play with your your thoughts here. Mm. It's got you so caught up with them. Um, you can't keep up with their lies here. That's what I'm feeling. It's a sense that they give misdirection to keep you off of track as well so that you don't connect with yourself fully to figure out what the hell they're doing. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay. Look at that. <clears throat> you have the three of wands here or the three of clubs. Okay. And it says hope. All right, but I feel like the waters are shaky. The waters are disrupted in the back. Um, and it feels like they're really choppy. Okay, this is going to be, bring a lot of discomfort towards you. You have the eight of swords here. And then you move into this almost like death card. All right, which says fright. And you move right into the nine 
of swords, okay? This person drains you mentally, okay? It will affect you emotionally. They give misdirection on purpose. That's what I'm feeling here. You're being, uh, in some sense, pulled out of this situation. I feel like the message is that you've learned all you needed to learn from the situation, that there is some change coming. That's what I'm that's what I'm feeling here, okay? There's some change coming at the heart of the matter. What is going on with my Capricorns? What is coming towards them? September 2019. Thank you. Woo! Yes! Hallelujah. Thank you. You have the nine of cups here, okay? Wish fulfillment. Something uh, better is coming in towards you here. That's what I'm seeing, all right? Ugh. Some jealousy is going to come with that as well, okay? Because I feel like you're going to eventually uh, allow some people to leave your life or you are moving past them. You're ending some cycle that, you, <laughs> that you've outgrown here, okay? Which is going to bring... You're going to be growing. That's what I'm feeling. And improving yourself. Becoming a happier person. They say smile if you really want to make somebody happy. Smile, okay? They'll be mad seeing you smile, seeing you be successful. And I feel like this type of jealousy is going to be... around you okay that's what i'm feeling why is a judgment card here in reverse Woo! some separation oh, okay there's some sense that you're not gonna forgive someone here taurus virgo or capricorn another Capricorn that I'm seeing okay I feel like whoever you're dealing with has abused the gifts that you've given them given them how you have shared with them okay your, your time your money okay your energy and I feel like there is <laughs> There's not going to be a reconciliation between you and someone else here. That's what I'm feeling, okay? There's this feeling of regretting action or connection with this person with this Three of Pentacles in reverse and the Judgment card here in reverse, okay? And I feel like at some level, you want to, <clears throat> you don't want to put in any more work. You're seeing that something is a dead end and you notice it that's why you have the eight of pentacles here in reverse okay you understand that there is a lack of commitment on this person's part and i feel like you're going to if you haven't done so already capricorn pull back here okay could be a virgo that you're dealing with you got a lot of yeah i told you this <laughs> That's what it is. You're facing the truth that someone is not committing or putting in as much work as you are here. This is what you're doing. This person, um, uh, my goodness, I feel like they bring conflict. That's probably why you have this five of wands here, okay? I don't know why this is saying this to me. It feels like pleasant pastime, okay? This, um, I feel like with the three of cups here, this person is indulging in too much pleasant pastime, okay? That's the energy that's coming in here. That's why they're looking like this stalemate or someone that you can't, um fully connect with okay or have conflict with because of the crowd that they keep or the company that they keep here let's see let's see what's going on okay let's take these three cards here 
Why is it two of swords here for my Capricorns? What's going on with this person? This lover. Okay. Important revelation. <laughs> I feel like you know something already though. All right. You see the self. Uh, it feels like selfishness from this person. Okay. That's why I'm seeing the four of diamonds here. It's something that you see in them already that you will see okay important revelations a letter oh okay <laughs> i don't i don't feel like it's a letter letter i feel like this is communication coming in here okay um this is why you have this major arcana card here this major movement here okay in some situation won't be reconciled but you're going to move on from a relationship or a partnership okay that does not feel fulfilling someone's not showing their emotions to you but maybe showing them to other this is the others this is the communication I feel is coming in here with this letter okay it's kind of crazy because it has the ace of pentacles but the ace of pentacles i feel is related to your movement okay um you're being told here with this ace of pentacles i say ace of pentacles ace of diamonds all right be <laughs> be yourself okay and put whatever plans that you have into action right now okay to bring some success in much needed um forward movement here with the will okay let's take a look at how this person is feeling about you Spirit and angel guys of the most high. Give me the cards for Capricorn. September 2019. How does this lover or love interest feel towards my Capricorns? Where's my Capricorns? Thank you. <laughs> okay. All right. You have the world card here. You got the world card and the wheel of fortune. Uh, that's coming out. You have the king of cups. All right. You have the nine of swords here. Interesting. And you have the king of pentacles. I can't say that you're treating them wrong. Okay. Because it doesn't feel like they are lacking they see you as a possible partner here mm. but i feel like they want to have control as well that's why you have this nine of swords here like they want to control your mind okay they want to be this they're gonna suck the life out you it's like an emotional energy cipher <laughs> i said energy okay. all right like an emotional vampire okay um i feel like this person let me go into this okay oh my god It feels like they're going to play victim, okay? Or play the victim. And you're going to have to work really hard here to keep things in a mental balance. <sighs> it just feels like a, a mind game here. That's what I feel, okay? Yeah. 
this person will have you going in circles. That's what I feel here. You have the two of wands here. Um, it's like they see the opportunity here, but you are going to take on a lot of responsibility um, dealing with this person. They're not very... This is strange. They're not very decisive, but they show up this way. Okay? They show up um, as being this responsible person here. But I feel like when it comes down to really making decisions, they may not be able to make solid ones here. Okay? With the Seven of Cups, it feels like uh, they're good at fantasizing stuff. <laughs> stuff okay and um they're good at planning things in their mind and communicating it but the action behind it may not be there okay what is going on with this three of wands here oh my gosh <laughs> okay oh my gosh Whoever this is, they're interested in you. Seriously. They are. But I feel like... I still feel like the energy is not long-lasting here. Why is the world card here? It's a strange Capricorn. Ace of Rods. So you got a lot of new beginnings here. This person shows you that they have a lot of potential. And the opportunity is good with them that you would have something stable. This is how they're coming in. Okay, um, they see you as someone that is stable as well, that they can build with. But at the heart of the matter here, with this nine of swords, it doesn't make me feel good. Okay, I feel like they th that it will be some type of issues. Uh, that comes in when it's time to make serious decisions, okay? And this person is going to bring some type of confusion or drama. Oh, when things get serious, I don't know why it's saying that. Let me go into this. Oh my God. Why are you saying that? Let's take a look. I want to see. What is this person's intentions? Spirit and name, guys, of the most high. Please give me the cards for Capricorn. Tell me what, what are the intentions of this lover or love interest for my Capricorn month of September? Why? What is going on with this person? They sneaky as hell. Look at this. You got the nine of swords again, okay? Sucking the life out of you. I'm telling you. Uh, this ah, I'm getting tongue tied here. It's almost like they don't want to be seen. Ah, uh, they're it's so. They're standing behind the darkness here. That's what I'm seeing here. The phases of the moon. I just feel like. Hmm. You're going to have a person that's not stable mentally. And I feel like that's why you ha had the Eight of Pentacles there saying that this will be uh, a situation that you will have to put great effort into. Okay? 
you have the ace of wands here <laughs> what is this person is what what is this person doing here star card and the six of swords here person is confusing the hell out of me you may have someone that is not ready or stable in their head for um a connection i see a lot of beginnings but they they have a lot of emotional or spiritual healing to go through they need to find a lot of peace um, from things that they may have experienced in their life that they had to go through. Okay, whether it be childhood or past relationships, I feel like they they just bring a very false energy here. That's what it's saying here, okay? This person might switch up on you with the Six of Swords here. I would say that they're moving towards something that is calmer, but I just feel like they will totally break free at some point, okay? And leave a situation or leave a relationship or a partnership that is here. Let me take why is healing begins here. You're not this person's therapist. All right. <laughs> all right. What do you want Capricorn to know about this person's intention? A change. Okay. Is this person changing here? Um, the main person you they want you to change them <laughs> they want you to bring in a change or they're, they're moving towards you because they see that you can help them change what did i tell what this is it <laughs> okay they're watching or paying attention they see you ask someone that can help them break free from Feel like they're demons they're gonna have to do this this is a uh, work that they have to do on their own 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 you have marriage card here okay over heal <sighs> success and love oh over the star card Who are you dealing with here, Capricorn? They may have had a bad past relationship or connection that they're still trying to heal or break free from. They may be in a marriage that they're trying to disconnect themselves from and still have success and love and move towards a new partner. That may be you, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. They have work to do on themselves okay because they bring in i still feel confusion and uncertainty okay about how to have success in love okay <sighs> marriage card there okay we could be talking about my married people my married capricorns here okay singles and couples let's take a look at this this person's intention with this ace of wands here oh, oh no you got false purpose even the purple matches look at this okay look at the wolves false person okay this they want a false start huh okay I, that's what I felt like they are coming in like they're positive they're good but it's not good it's not all good okay and they're not all good and I feel like they're not all ready someone's not already 
you need to have communication, open communication with this person. You have prison here. You may physically be dealing with someone that is in a prison. That's what I'm feeling for some of you, okay? Or this false, or this start that's, that this person is presenting to you could imprison you. It could trap you. Okay, it could restrict you in a very unhealthy way. That's why the nine of the nine of swords is coming out as well. Okay, I always step back and look at cards before that. So the eight moving into the nine feels like restriction and yeah, they make you as sad as they are. They bring you into their sadness, into their depressing thoughts with the communication that you have this person sucks your energy away to make them feel better you have sad news here okay Ugh. okay all right mm. <laughs> and his thoughts what the fuck did I oh my god what did I just say it's his thoughts his thoughts okay brings you into this madness is sickening madness in the head okay they're trying to break free themselves i feel be careful what relationships you're moving into all right people are not ready they're not ready okay All right. Let's get a message for you here. I'm right, gonna grab that spirit and angel, guys. Is the most high. Give me a message for Capricorns, September 2019. What message do you have? What does this say? <laughs> dream a beautiful dream. I don't know. Okay. Capricorns. Dream a beautiful dream. <laughs> I'm looking at this and this this golden type of I forget what you call it. Um I'm going to get the actual name for this because it's the name of it, what we're looking at here. <sighs> you're basically being told that you're connected to everyone in the world, okay? That you don't work on your own. People see you as a spirit that brings them peace. Your energy is what draws them in, okay? To be... I feel like it's saying cautious, okay, of who you share your energy with and who you allow um, into your sacred space as well. With the card, though, I'm going to tell you what the card is saying here, okay, that beauty is meant to soothe the soul and inspire rather than superficial glamour and social acceptance, okay? Imagine things differently here, Capricorn, than how it actually seems to be. Find harmony even in the chaos of change and be daring here, okay? That is your message. <laughs> That's your message, dear, okay? That is your reading for September 2019. Summer Rising of Venus sign. Thank you guys so much for coming back to watch your reading. I do appreciate it. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share this video for me. Hit the notification bell. These videos are getting longer. What is this? Almost 30 minutes. I love you guys. Take care of yourself. Hit that notification bell. I'll be back with more videos for you. Bye.